let's say you see this kind of a simple question in your chemistry jam exam how will you solve it it is very simple let us solve it together the question says 1.34 grams of hydrated sodium tetrahydrosulfate of its six was heated to give an anhydrous salt weighing 0.71 grams the formula of the hydrated salt is and you can see the options this is a very simple question and we are going to solve it together right this is a question that focuses on acid base and salt and this particular question is on water of crystallization right to solve this particular question you need to know a formula and i'll write the formula shortly the formula is mass of water is spilled mass of water is spilled i can write h2o mass of water expelled over mass of a hydro salt mass of a hydro salt when i say hydro salt that means dry salt mass of mass of hydro salt is equal to molar mass i'll just write mm molar mass of water expelled molar mass of water expelled or oh, i don't write molar mass of water expelled over molar mass of a hydro salt molar mass of a hydro salt a hydro salt a hydro salt means dry salt right let me just write yes molar mass of a hydro salt this is very simple in this question we can see that these particular ones are dehydrated salt right the salt normally sodium tetrahydrate of a six salt it was hydrated that means it has water what we what they are asking us for now is the amount of water that was lost after the particular salt was heated right before the salt got heated or when it was hydrated it has a mass of 1.34 grams right before it was hydrated or uh, when it was hydrated it has 1.34 grams as the mass so when it was heated it lost water of crystallization and the mass became 0.71 grams you can see right so it experienced a decrease in mass after it was heated and water crystallization was lost to the atmosphere right so now the first thing in the formula is mass of water expelled that means the mass of water that was lost to the atmosphere and we can calculate that by subtracting this from this you know when it was hydrated it has 1.34 grams as the mass and after being heated it became 0.71 grams right so now if we want to calculate the mass of water that has been expelled we need to subtract this from this so, so we have something like 1.34 1.34 minus the mass when the water has been lost 0.71 grams 0.71 grams right that's in grams that's the mass of water expelled over mass of a hydro salt mass of a hydro salt when the salt lost water and this is 0.71 grams right 0.71 grams is equal to molar mass of water expelled molar mass of water expelled we cannot say we don't know the number of moles of the water that was expelled and that's basically what we are looking for so we cannot write x h2o you are still going to make it in molar mass right all over the molar mass of the hydro salt molar mass of the hydro salt normal a hydro salt is na2so4 which is sodium tetrahydrosulfate of its six salt normal and molar mass we need to calculate the molar mass of na2so4 right so just, let's just write Na2SO4. We are going to calculate the molar mass later. Na2SO4. Right? So to calculate this, we need the atomic number of sodium, sulfur, and oxygen, and even hydrogen. So let us write it. The atomic mass of sodium is what? 23, right? And that of sulfur is, is 32, right? 32 grams per mole. And that of hydrogen is 1, right? And then that of which one again? Oxygen. Oxygen is 16, right? So that is what we are going to use to calculate the molar masses, right? So let us subtract this first. 1.34 minus 0.71. 1.34 minus 0.71, right? That way we are going to get 0.63. 0.63 all over 0.71, right? Is equal to x is 2 Let us just write our x. Let's put our h2 in brackets. Molar mass, um, atomic mass of hydrogen is what? 1, right? 1 times 2 will give us 2. Let me just write 1 times 2. Plus, what is the atomic mass of oxygen? 16, right? So 16. We can put that in brackets. All over. What is the atomic mass of sodium? 23, right? So 23 times 2. So you have 23 times 2, right? Then plus. Sodium is 32, right? 32. Then plus. 
oxygen is what 16 right 16 so you can just write plus 4 times 16 right so that way 0 0.63 divided by 0 0.71 0 0.71 we have something like 0 0.887 right equals here 1 times 2 is what 2 2 plus 16 is what 18 18 times x will give us 18x right 18x all over so 23 times 2 will give us what 23 times 2 will give us 46 right 46 plus 32 plus what 4 times 16 that should give us 64 right 64 so that way we can have 18x i'm writing this out 18x all over so 46 plus 32 plus 64 that should give us 142 right 142 so that way we can just write it out like this 0 0.887 is equal to 18x all over 142 this way all we just have to do is just to cross multiply right we just have to cross multiply if you want to cross multiply that's going to give us 0 0.887 times 142 and one here we multiply 18x so we are going to be having something like 18x is equal to 142 times 0 0.887 times 0 0.887 right that actually give us 126 126 so 126 126 so the next way is to divide both sides by 18 divide both sides by 18 to get the value of x right so divide both sides by 18 right so divided by 18 okay that will give us seven wow seven on dot so x is going to be equal to seven right so that means x we have seven is to so that will tell us that the answer here is going to be na 2 so 4 dot 7 h 2 so the amount of water that was lost to the atmosphere is seven moles of water so the answer is option b i believe this is very simple to understand if you have any questions you can drop them in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one peace out